Now this is where we're looking at tip design, which is our next factor. And these were all Tusker Concords that we used for our testing. And all bound up on matching air shafts and so forth. We did seven different tip designs. And we did a lot of shots. We shot uh, broadside into the ribs, and then we shot at various angles into the ribs. And we actually laid out a protractor and tracked uh, shooting angles. So we stretched a 20 yard string out to, uh, at different angles to know what angle we were impacting the ribs at. Uh, and shoot it that way. And we did the same thing on the scapula. We would do broadside on the scapula, and then we'd do at various angles into the scapula and looking to see which tip design performed best. And overall, the Tanto tip performed by far the best. It had 27.5% uh, more penetration than our second best tip design, which is round. It does better than any of the others in there. Now, on the skip angle, uh, I don't remember what the skip angle, I didn't write down what it was. It had by far the best skip angle. Now, if you could get a, a needle tip that wouldn't bend, it would probably have as good or maybe even better skip angle. But uh, on, on the Concord test to get the uh, tip would bend as soon as you a guaranteed bend as soon as you got away from a uh, perpendicular impact. Uh, so we had a high rate of uh, tip bends, and by the time you got around any kind of shooting angle, uh, it didn't make, it, it just didn't do very well at all. Now, skip angle is really important because, so we're talking about very rarely do you hit a bone perpendicular, but think of shooting down out of tree stands or shooting at animals at angles. They're quartering towards you or quartering away. You're going to have an angular, a steeply angular, bone impact. And it's really important that that broadhead not skip off. So you want something that doesn't skip off the, the bone very frequently and, and certainly you want it to go as far as you can possibly get it. Now you can't get beyond about 45 degrees. That seems to be the upper limit. So if, and I'm not talking 45 degrees the atom, I'm talking about 45 degrees between the surface of the bone and the angle impact. When you hit that, uh, Virtually every error of every design is going to start showing a high frequency. That, that's just getting too much impact angle uh, for the error to reliably bite, bite into the bone. Now, what is a Tanto tip? It's strictly a profile. That's what it looks like. You can have narrow ones, you can have wide ones. Uh, I just needed something to call that tip design in my database, is where the term comes from. I couldn't call it a pyramid because I've got that for three blade heads. And, have some pyramid, three-sided and four-sided pyramids on trocar points. And so that just reminded me of what, if you put two Tanto tip knives back to back, to the cold steel type, uh, this is what the tip would look like. So I just hung the name on it, Tanto tip.